We serve a great God, a God that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will do what? Rejoice and be glad. My name is Dr. D. Devon Griffin, and I am your online moderator for this first edition of the 77th Virtual Sunday Bible School Convention of the Florida East Coast Diocese, where our Chief Apostle Elder, Dr. Rebecca W. Fletcher, is also our presiding prelate. We do represent today our assistant bishop, the Bishop Timothy Mim Sr., and to all of those who are part of the ecclesiastes of this diocese, acknowledging our newly appointed state elder, and to whom was the former state YFFU supervisor, the state elder Victor Carter, to our current state YFFU supervisor, the none other than the presiding elder Johnny H. Gilliam, to the state coordinator Deaconess Charmaine's role, and to everybody in their respected place, we will never exclude the people who are doing such a dynamic job the Sunday Bible School Convention Committee, the Superintendent, Reverend Taquisha Tony Lawson, and the Assistant Superintendent, the Brother Nicholas Knight. Right where you are, if y'all can, just give it up one time for them because we are indeed grateful to God for having a team that's willing to go beyond just to accomplish the things of God. And we are so grateful for that. Right now, we're just going to take a brief moment just to say thank you to each and every one of you for being a part of this, our virtual Sunday Bible School Convention pre-service. We have a couple of things going on today that we hope that will lift your spirits, that will encourage you, things that will cause you to say, you know what, the East Coast of Florida got it going on. Right now, we just want to pause for a second and thank each and every one of you for taking part in our campaign. The superintendent and the assistant superintendent, they got together and they came up with what's called Pillar Strong. Pillar Strong, we have been out of our church for quite a while, but we can honestly say that while we have been out of the church, We've still been fed online. We've still been fed through conference calls. We have still been able to stand tall and say that we still are pillar strong. And we just want to take a few moments and shout out some of the people who participated. We hope y'all feeling all right out there as we are here today as part of our pre-service before we go into our five o'clock session for our Sunday Bible School Convention. We said if you took a picture and posted it online that there would be three grand prize winners. And there have been many people who have been online posting their images, showing that they are pillar strong. We've had bishops, we've had general elders, 
We've had some of everybody all the way from South Carolina, North Carolina, all across the Keith Dominion showing that they are indeed pillar strong. And the three people who are our first placed winner for the most creative just happens to be Sister Naya Lawson of the House of God Church, Fort Pierce, number two. And also, second place, Brother Aiden Hayes Carter of the House of God Church there in Oslo. And the most adorable, the most unique, came to us from a tailor-made production, Brother Brian Taylor and his son, showing style, storing class, and we thank you all for being a part of Pillar Strong. Keep posting your pictures. Keep letting everybody know that you are Pillar Strong. This does just not mean House of God, East Coast of Florida. This means North Florida. That means over there in Carolina, those in Texas, those in Alabama, just keep posting and letting the world know that we are indeed the house of God and we are pillar strong. It's at this time that we want to give homage to our graduates. We know that our graduates have not had the opportunity to fulfill everything that they wanted to do with prom and things that they've worked for throughout the course of the year. But our chief overseer and state bishop has formally prepared a document that has been previously given to our graduates, and we just want to take this time to shout out some of our graduates. Brother Christian J. Bolden, Sister A. Roper, Bryce and Brandon Green, Jeremy Taylor, Kendrick Williams, Tommy Roberts, Jashanti Lewis, Kareem Wright, Dante Troutman, Shatavia Clay, Dominic Collins, Jalen Bembry, China Owens Lewis, Travis Jefferson Jr., Jeffrey D. Hazley II, and Rudy Bryant. On behalf of the entire House of God Church, Keith Dominion, we thank you for doing all that you could, pushing through the obstacles, pushing through the stresses and strains, through the heartaches and the pains, to do what you had to do to excel to the next level. And we indeed, indeed salute you today. At this time, we turn it over into the hands of our state YFFU president, Deacon Toyin Bryant, for his presentation. May God bless you, heaven smile upon you, and give you peace. But before we do that, I just want to say this to every graduate, college level, high school level, whatever level that you're on, graduating from pre-K, going to uh, kindergarten, to first grade, we salute you. You are important. Your life matters. And we just want to give a shout out to you as well. At this time, we turn it over into the hands of Deacon Toyin Bryant for his presentation.
church. No church. Everybody else having church. What do you mean we can't have church? COVID this, COVID that, pandemic. What is this mess? What do you mean? We can't have church. I done wasted my time with them and the door's locked. I can't believe this. Man, I was ready to get my praise on too. Hmm. You know what? I'm not gonna let that stop me. I'm gonna get my COVID praise on anyhow. Let me see here. Gotta have something. Ah, hmm. Yeah. Ah, let me see here. Good old bass drum. A little dusty. Like I ain't been haven't used it in a while. You know, nowadays everybody have drum sets and all this fancy stuff. But this bass drum, man, this used to be it, boy. This used to be it. I can see it now. Back in the day, that old Deacon. Off in the corner, before they had anything else, they had a good old bass drum. Oh, yeah. Snare drum. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. See him. Snare drum. I remember we have nothing but a bass and a snare drum. Oh, 
can't stop. 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 Can't
old school instruments. But I'll tell you what, I don't care what, what it is. I had a pot right in the kitchen. I'll play that. If I ain't had nothing, I'll clap my hands. Lord, thank you for my hands. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I should continue to praise you, Lord. What you done for me? What you done for me? What you done for me? Lord, I appreciate. Oh, Lord, I appreciate. Lord, I appreciate. Oh, Lord, I appreciate. Appreciate, appreciate. Appreciate, appreciate. I'm gonna praise him anyhow. Get my COVID praise on. Yeah. You can lock the doors, but you can't stop my praise. Thank you, Lord. We thank Deacon Toyin Bryant for reminiscing and letting us know of things of days gone by. At this time, the Sunday Bible School Convention Committee would like to stop and recognize some of those who have paved the way. At this time, please receive Brother Robert Gray, as we recognize him for 28 years of continued service within the House of God Church, Florida East Coast Diocese. Brother Gray. Give it honor to our Chief Overseer, Bishop Rebecca W. Fletcher of the Lower East Coast of Florida Diocese, and to all of God people, and especially to our youth. As I reflect back many years ago, it was in the year of 1991 in the city of Fort Pierce, Florida, when I was called into office by the late Bishop J.C. Elliott. And I was given a challenge to become the state YFFU coordinator. The challenge was given to me and the torch was passed on from the late elder, Jewel Ryan. And when I was spoken to about taking on this challenge, I was charged and I vowed that I would uphold the rules and laws of this church, the grand old house of God, the faith and doctrine and what it stand for, and that I would be an example to our youth in word and in deed. And as I remember, I began to work diligently and closely with the deaconess Gloria Allen. At that particular time, I had just pretty much finished high school and I was about five years or so and I had no other education other than a high school diploma but I was self-driven to be an example to our youth by furthering my education and becoming, earning a Bachelor of Science degree in business from Barry University, Miami, Florida. I furthered my education with my master's degree at Nova Southeastern University. And I only reflect back to say that I wanted to be an example to our youth. Not just in word, encouraging them to do their best and to further their education and to stay in school, but I wanted to make sure that I was first being a partaker and that I could show them that it can be done. And no one can better tell you of doing a job unless you've done the job. 
I want to encourage our youth to stand for what is right. Live holy. Keep God's commandment. Do his work. We're facing a pandemic today. And I'm always reminded of the scripture, 2 Chronicles 7, 13, where it said, if I shut up the heavens that there be no rain, or if I send a locust to devour the land, or if I send a pestilence that could be a great disease upon this land. And I thought of COVID-19. I don't know if that's the pestilence that God has allowed to happen, but what I'm saying to you today, let us focus on the scripture of the 14th verse that says, if my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves, pray, seek my face, turn from your wicked ways. He said, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will heal their lands. Young people today, I challenge you to forever remember the fivefold purpose of our YFFU, which is our Young Folks and Friends Union to inspire to intelligently train our young people in the doctrine of true holiness, to inspire them to grow in knowledge, faith, and purity, to make their influence in true holiness meaningful, to develop an appreciation for the pioneers of the past, and to assist our youth in finding their places in the church. I challenge you today, young people, you go with God, God will go with you. At this time, we celebrate Deaconess Gloria Allen, who is our current YFFU advisor. Fletcher, Assistant Bishop, Bishop Timothy Mims, State Elder Victor Carter, officials of the State YFFU, as well as Sunday Bible School Convention, and the East Coast of Florida Diocese. Greetings, young people. It is a pleasure to speak to you today. When I think back on the last 35 years of my life, serving 18 years as State YFFU coordinator and 17 years as State YFFU advisor, I can truly say that the driving force behind everything that I encountered was to please God rather than man. In doing this, many obstacles were placed in my path, but with strong determination, faith in God, and the love I have for the youth, I overcame the pitfalls that come with being a servant of God. Young people, let God be the center of your life. Trust him, and you will be successful in all that you do. Time will not permit me to say thank you to all the people who assisted me along the way. But God knows your name, and I do too. May he bless you real good. Colossians 3, 23 and 24 is the scripture I would like to encourage you to live by, which reads... And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord, and not unto men, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. What the scripture is saying is when you are rendering service of any kind, work sincerely from the heart as if you are working for the Lord, because it is the Lord that will give you the reward of the inheritance, which is eternal life. And that should be your ultimate goal in life. Young people, know that I love you, I'm here for you, and really care about your future. In his service, Deaconess Gloria J. Allen. To God be the glory. At this time, we recognize the Honorable Chief Helper, Bishop Martha J. Thomas for her continued work with the YFFU department. 
she has collaborated with Chief Overseer Bishop J.W. Jenkins in his home when he initiated the idea of the Young Folks and Friends Union, known now as YFFU, instituting the first YFFU book in 1964. She has served as the co-YFFU state coordinator of the East Coast Florida Diocese with Elder Clara Leola Williams during the 1970s. She traveled throughout the East Coast Diocese and established the YFFU in local churches in the 70s. She served as the first national YFFU president from 1972 through 1991. She has traveled many miles and done great work to do the will of the Lord for our young people. And indeed, she is a woman that we recognize during this Sunday Bible School Convention, a woman who works without end. We also celebrate none other than one of our very own, the General Elder Emma Laurie. Let's hear from General Elder Emma Laurie. Giving honor to the Chief Overseer, to the presiding state bishop, to the assistant bishop, to each of you in your respective places. Indeed, it is an humbling experience and delight to be recognized by the Florida East Coast Virtual Sunday Bible School Committee and the state YFFU for my continuous service with the youth of the church. These 40 years plus have been spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. According to Colossians, the third chapter and the 23rd verse, which says, whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as unto the Lord and not unto men. It is my prayer that all of our youth will continue to break out of every area that is holding them back and allow the power of the Holy Ghost to lead them and keep them in the will of God. I love this church and the children of God. It is my continued mission to be a light that can help others to be free from whatever is holding them down. I, along with the officials of the diocese, invite each of you to keep watching this virtual Sunday Bible School Convention as we pray that you will be blessed by what you hear and what you see. Praising God all the way through. Because when the praises go up, the blessings come down. And when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me, my soul says hallelujah. I thank God. I thank God. I thank God. God bless you. We celebrate Presiding Bishop Charlene M. Jamison for her continued service with the YFFU department over 40 plus years. A woman who keeps on giving of herself. Let us hear from the Presiding Bishop Charlene M. Jamison.
Oh, church, how we miss that great sound of the pillar and ground. Pray to God that we'll be able to get back to hearing it one day. Greetings, greetings, greetings to all of you who have come online for our virtual Sunday Bible School Convention. I want to thank God, our Heavenly Father, for His Son, Jesus, who died that we could all have right to the tree of life. And truly, I praise God for our chief overseer, the Bishop, Dr. Rebecca W. Fletcher, who is also the state presiding bishop of the East Coast of Florida Diocese. I thank God for the workers today, for our youth, parents, Sunday Bible school teachers, pastors, youth workers, from the least to the greatest, who have spent time with our young people. Truly, you have a passion for working with children. You have a love for working with children. And most of all, you are patient with them. We cannot thank you enough for the many hours that you have spent in training and working with our young people. I indeed count it in honor to bring words of encouragement to our youth in such a time as this. Truly, these are perilous times, for we're living in a time that we call the new normal because of the global COVID-19 pandemic. All of our lives have been affected by it. And I think about the graduating class of 2020, when our graduates had to go back and redo what they had planned for graduation. Even at the end of the year, we couldn't have the closing activities with our children. Children had to take their tests online or via well, Zoom. But I thank God that things are as well as they are. So young people, I say to you today, we don't know what tomorrow holds. But make sure that the time that you have today, that you spend it wisely. We talk about two dates in our lives, the date of our birth, and others talk about the date of our demise. They are not so much as important as it is the time that you spend between those two dates. We want to make sure that everything was that we have done is done to the glory and honor of God. Everything that we do should be to praise Him and glorify Him. And nothing that we do should be done unto man. Take advantage of the time that you have, young people. One writer wrote, time is a gift that should be opened with love. So I close today in my words of encouragement with a poem that was written by an English Nobel laureate, Rudyard Kipling. He wrote the poem, If. This was a message from father to son. He wanted his son to be successful in life so he penned these words, the subject being if. If, in this case, is a conjunction. It introduces a conditional clause, meaning in the event that, or something must happen before something else can happen. So the main idea that Kipling wrote to his son is this. In order to lead a satisfactory life, remain balanced, deal with the ups and downs in life with an undisturbed mind. You're going to have ups and downs, deal with them. That's the message that Kipling wrote to his son. And it reads as follows. If you can keep your head 
when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too. If you can wait and not be tired in waiting or being lied about, don't deal in lies or being hated don't give way to hating, and yet, don't look too good, and don't talk too wise. If you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thoughts your aim, if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same, if you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken, twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools, or watch the things you gave your life to broken and stoop and build them up with worn out tools. If you can make one step of your winning and risk it with one turn of pitch and toss. And lose and start again at your beginning and never breathe a word about your loss. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone. And so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold on. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings, nor lose the common touch. If neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you, but none too much. If you can feel the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distant run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it. And which is more, you'll be a man, my son. Be encouraged, deal with the ups and downs with an undisturbed mind and God will see you through. God bless you all. It is at this time that the state YFFU committee bows their heads in recognition to three individuals who have fought a good fight and who have finished their course. We acknowledge the outstanding work done by the Reverend Hazel Young known as the missionary. Revelation chapter 14 and 13 reads, And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. We honor the life, love, and the legacy of a woman who worked with the youth until her dying breath, the Reverend Hazel Young. We do also acknowledge the passing of the former national and Florida East Coast Diocese State YFFU advisor in loving memory 
of our very own, the elder Clara Leola Bell Williams. Second Timothy chapter four, verse seven through eight says, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. We acknowledge and love and truly miss a woman that we love and shall forever keep in our hearts, the elder Clara Leola Bell Williams. It is at this time that we acknowledge the former National YFFU president in loving memory of the elder Wayne Hicks. Matthew chapter 25 and verse 21 says, His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. It could only be befitting that no words that we could utter could be able to voice our sentiments. It is at this time that we call for his wife, the Reverend Latasha Hicks. Give an eye to the Chief Overseer and to the Presiding State Bishop of the Florida East Coast Diocese, Bishop Rebecca W. Fletcher, to Bishop Timothy Mims, the Assistant Bishop, and to everyone that makes up this grand Sunday Bible School Convention virtually. It is indeed an honor to expound the works and the legacy of my great husband, Elder Wayne Hicks, and the words that he would say to us all. Elder Hicks was a great man of faith, strength, wisdom, and stability. He was an awesome youth advocate who led by example for so many people to follow. His deep compassion towards working for the Lord has captured the hearts of many. As a school educator and as a school administrator for over 20 years, he made such a great impact on so many students and faculty members. From the power in his voice to his firm character, he immediately gained respect from all those who he came in contact with. Yes, he's faced some challenges with some people, but they knew how far to go with him. He also served faithfully on the National YFFU Department of the House of God Church, Keith Dominion, as National YFFU President for several years. He was an awesome mentor to so many young people. But to top it all, and most of it all, he was truly saved and filled with the Holy Ghost and was fully committed to the will of God. For we know, and we do truly know, that his works will follow him. His legacy will continue on. If my late husband, Elder Wayne Hicks, was still here with us on today, I believe he would say to all the young people and to all listeners, don't focus on the negativity that surrounds you in this life but shift your focus on the one who will drive out all negativity from your surroundings and from your mind. In this life, you will face adversities, setbacks, challenges, obstacles, temptations, different situations that will try your very faith in God and test your ability. But this is the time and this is the season that you have to know who you are and whose you are. So don't give up and don't you give in. Just remember that if you try Jesus, he'll make everything all right. If you try Jesus, he'll make your enemies be at peace with you. If you try Jesus, he'll make your vision to become a reality. For there's nothing better than knowing Jesus. He will pick you up and turn you around. If you want to know him, you can get to know him. Just come. He would often say that with every temptation, Jesus will make a way of escape that you will be able to bear it. So stay strong, stay focused, stay in the will of God, 
Stay on the battlefield for the Lord and keep the faith. In his closing, he would often say his favorite scripture, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not into thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. As I, Reverend Natasha Hicks, encourage the youth of the Florida East Coast Diocese, I want you to know that despite of the civil unrest, social injustice, COVID-19, peer pressure, violence, despite of all these things, don't let these elements weigh you down or hold you back from achieving your goals. Don't let the media and the news detour your vision and your purpose of what God has called you to do. Don't let the enemy steal your joy in this season. But let the enemy know on today that it's time to break out in the midst of the outbreak. It's time to break out with the praise in the midst of the pressure. It's time to break out with strength and a strategy in the midst of the struggle. It's time to break out with victory in the midst of this violence. And it's time to break out with your purpose in the midst of this pandemic. So let them be known today that you are a winner, you are a fighter, you are victorious, you are courageous, you are brave, you are strong, you will not be defeated. You are an overcomer and you will win because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So don't worry about COVID-19. Don't worry about the media and the news. Don't worry about nothing. Continue to seek God, continue to trust God because you know that God's got your back. In my closing, let God do a mighty work in your life. I love you, and may the love of God and grace of God rest upon each of you. God bless. Let's see all of those hearts all over the Facebook page as we remember the life, the legacy, and ministry of these individuals. Let's see those thumbs up, those hearts all over Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And let the world know that we are not only pillar strong, but our hearts are indeed unified together for those who have gone on before. For indeed, they shall wear a crown. It is at this time that we hear words of encouragement from our virtual Sunday Bible School Convention Assistant Superintendent, Brother Nicholas Knight. Good evening, Saints members and friends. We would like to thank each of you who have tuned into the broadcast from near and far. As Assistant Superintendent, I come to encourage you that during these troubling times and hardships of injustice and COVID-19, Remain prayerful and positive. Remember, this is only a test and God has the final say so. So keep your head up, don't worry and fret not because this too shall pass. Now words of encouragement from the Florida East Coast Diocese State YFFU coordinator, the Deaconess Charmez Roll. Greetings all, I'm Child Deaconess Charmez Roll, your State YFFU coordinator. I would like to encourage you to continue to earnestly contend the faith, which was once delivered to the saints as written in June 3. The state YFFU began this church fiscal year with excitement and vigor for the Lord. We had so many amazing events in which our youth could participate in. Then we were thrust into unfamiliar territories as coronavirus pandemic, and all our events had to be postponed. It has been said that we are living in unprecedented times due to this pandemic. We have not been able to attend our local churches or any of our state YFFU events. It has been disheartening for many of us not to be able to fellowship with our brothers and sisters in the Lord. 
However, we are not weary and well-doing. Several of our youth, local youth departments have been innovative in keeping youth active during these times. Many are participating in conference calls, Zoom meetings, Facebook Live, having game nights online, parades, drive-bys. Visits have been a thing. This is encouraging because even in difficult times, we are still working towards fulfilling our five-fold purpose of the YFFU. I ask that you continue to be resourceful in your local YFFU departments. Use the YFFU books to teach lessons, continue to have meetings, use social media to share the word of God with your peers. This is not the time to give up. This is not the time to sit down and it's definitely not the time to shut up. It is during times like this that our youth of the House of God, Florida East Coast, should show holy boldness and proclaim that Jesus is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Young people, I implore you to cry out loud. Spare not, lift up your voices as trumpets. You do not have to be silent just because you're not in the physical building. Please know, as your statewide FFU coordinator, I am praying for each and every one of you, and I ask that you stay prayerful, be encouraged, keep working, stay connected, and remember, this too shall pass. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you when we are able to come back together again. Let us continue to pray for one another and stay positive. God is in control. Many blessings. It's about to happen. It's about to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, please receive our newly appointed state elder of the House of God Church, Keith Dominion, Florida East Coast Diocese, State Elder Victor Carter. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome, welcome, welcome to each and every one of you, God's people that have come from the East Coast, and the West Coast, the North Side, and the South Side. We are ecstatic and immensely elated that you have taken time out of your busy schedule to join in with us, to share with us this historical experience. Yes, you are about to be a part of our very first Florida Lower East Coast Diocese Virtual Sunday Bible School Convention. We honor our chief overseer, the Dr. Rebecca W. Fletcher. We also honor the assistant state bishop, the Dr. Timothy L. Mims. We recognize our newly appointed supervisor of the YFFU, the presiding elder, Johnny H. Gilliam. And we also commend our superintendent of the 77th Sunday Bible School Convention, the Reverend Taquisha Lawson, and the assistant superintendent, the brother Nicholas Knight. Our theme this year is Break Out in the Outbreak. In this worldwide outbreak of pandemic, COVID-19, we are invigorated to take on the whole armor of God, to fight the good fight of faith, to stand steadfast and unmovable, to break out in the middle of this outbreak. And I wanna encourage you, my brothers and sisters, that even though that we are in the midst of an outbreak, we can break out even in the middle of this outbreak. And we are encouraging you throughout this entire Sunday Bible School Convention to break out in the outbreak. Break out of your comfort zone. Break out of your subdued and mundane attitude. Break out of your fears and your failures. Break out of your depression and oppression. We encourage you to break out of discouragement and despair. Break out of hopelessness. Break out of hypocrisy and duplicity. Break out of toxic relationships. Break out, break out in this outbreak. 
Let us break out with the power of prayer. We want to break out with the word of God. We want to break out with holiness and righteousness. Throughout this entire Sunday Bible School Convention, we encourage you to break out in this outbreak. You are in the right place at the right time. We have prolific speakers that have been lined up to give a powerful word straight from God. We have prepared those that are psalmists and songsters that will minister to your soul. We have prepared speeches. We have prepared praise and worship devotion leaders that will help you lift up the praise to God Almighty. As the Holy Ghost stirs up your heart, we want you to get involved with this entire broadcast. We want you to hit those, click on those buttons, click on them and like us, click support us, click the th thumbs up, click and let us know that you're sharing this gospel, you're sharing this broadcast as many places as you can. You are literally helping us to spread the gospel and spread the good news throughout this entire world. We want everybody to know by the end of this broadcast that you don't have to let down your guards. You don't have to give up and give out, but you can break out right into the middle of this outbreak. You're at the right place at the right time for your deliverance. This time, we're gonna begin our services. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with singing. This is State Elder Victor Carter thanking you for being right here at the right time, at the right place for your breakout in the middle of this outbreak.
everybody but Jesus. Yes. But before we leave today, yes. we just want to ask you a question. Who can?
Sister Elysia Smith, and as an elder, the YFU, newly appointed supervisor, presiding elder Johnny Gilliam. It's a blessing to be able to have the people of God working together in unity, in harmony. Nobody but the Lord. That's what the Holy Ghost will do to you. That's how the Holy Ghost will work out for you. Every block is moved out the way. Every gate has to be opened. We thank you, Lord. And the program should go as follows. We'll have our welcome dedication by none other than Sister Janelle Wesley and Sister Janelle Wesley of New Liberty City will have a spiritual rendition, a solo by Sister Micaiah Gray. We'll have a special feature by Kiara Shear, a musical. I told you God has great things in store. We'll have an introduction of our speaker coming from Elder Janice Wesley, one of our YFU committee members. We'll have a speaker that's been sent by Shallow to bless your soul, presiding Elder Jacob Wallace Sr. We'll have the altar call given by Elder Elton Noble. Followed by that, we'll have the closing remarks and benediction. I pray that your soul will be blessed. I pray that somebody will be healed. I pray that you will be able to be set free and delivered from COVID-19, from diabetes, from high blood pressure, from whatever it is the doctor has diagnosed you with. Open up your heart, open up your mind to receive what the Lord has in store for you. And to my youth, I want to let you know it's not over until God says it's over. Let the man wave his flag. Let the man go in the tower. I don't care what the doctor said. I don't care what the prognosis said. But Go. 
glorified. Keep the stars shining. Six, parents sacrifice a lot to see you in school. They will be proud of your success. Seven, choices have consequences. Make the right choice. Eight, whatever it is that you cannot get in life now, work hard so that your children would not lack in the future. Nine, happy people do not have the best things. They make the best of whatever they have. 10, nothing should stop you from scaling higher heights. 11, identify your hidden talents and make good use of them. 12, there is always time for everything. 13, true humanity is not thinking less of yourself. It is thinking of yourself less. and all those who have real of you, Lord. Words of encouragement. The life of a teenager is very hard. There is so much peer pressure to fit in a group, a lot more pressure to keep up with the latest trends to be your peers. You just got your boyfriend slash girlfriend and you have to put up your game. We want to help you get through this stage of your life successfully. Number one, surround yourself with positive Two. You still have a long life ahead of you. Three, people will disappoint you at one point in life. Learn to depend more on God. Four, think before you act. It will save you from making wrong choices. Five, have a lot of clean fun when you can. You do not want to leave a life of regrets. Six, life is not always rosy. Handle uncomfortable situations head on instead of running away from them. Seven, happy people do not have best things. They make the best of what they have. Eight, you always have a choice. Just know that choices have consequences. Nine, you are a shining star in your life. Keep shining bright. And number 10, we are listening to you and we want to hear everyone, I'm Sister Janelle Wesley. And I'm Sister Janelle Wesley. And we have a very important question for you. Are you tired of staying at home? Of course we are, it's super boring. Well, I understand that we all don't like being in quarantine, but you know what you need to do? What? Break, Break out, out in the, the outbreak. outbreak. So just sit back, relax, and welcome to our virtual Sunday Bible School convention. You know, now that I think about it, being in quarantine really isn't that bad. How so? Well, I mean, you can just lay in your bed, sit on the couch, or eat some dinner while you're listening to the Word of God. So we want you all to stay safe, stay at home, be wise, and not foolish. And, and this, this is your welcome, welcome vindication.
strength.